hundreds of unidentified objects have been detected arriving from another solar system by the James Webb Space Telescope. The universe has just revealed a shocking secret. Scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope announced that they have hundreds of mysterious objects entering our solar system. Where are they coming from and why so many? For centuries, humans stared at the night sky. They were charting stars and uh, finding out where we are in the universe. In each uh, exper the experience expanded our understanding by the James Webb Space Telescope has brought us now to the reality of discovering something that is unlike any other. They detected an astonishing cluster of hundreds of mysterious objects that are traveling from beyond our solar system. Where could they be coming from? And this has astonished scientific communities worldwide, of course. There's discussion about what these interstellar visitors mean. Astronomers suspect it could be natural phenomena, asteroids and comets, or even rogue exoplanets. The objects maintain precise trajectories over vast distances, and their signatures suggest materials unlike those we found in space debris. But the scale of the cluster is huge. While the interstellar objects like Umamao have been detected in the past, we have not before seen so many observed traveling together with such coherence. Of course, when Umama came at us in 2017, and then two years later in 2019, interstellar comet Borisov, that is when the astronomers and the cosmologists told us there will be a lot more interstellar objects coming into our solar system. And now here we are with 3i Atlas, the interstellar comet that has been discovered July 1st of this year. So what could these hundreds of objects be? Astronomers spied this interstellar object zooming through our solar system. And we said we had Umamba before this and Borisov after that. How did it get here? We have only ever seen three interstellar visitors, including three Atlas. So it's hard to know exactly how they made their way here. But recent research published in the Planetary Science Journal suggests these objects might be more common than we once thought. And in particular, they may come from relatively nearby star systems such as Alpha Centauri, our nearest interstellar neighbor, which is only 4.4 light years away from us. Alpha Centauri is slowly moving closer to us, with its closest approach expected in about 28,000 years. Well, in celestial time scales, that's very close. If it's because we're talking about a star system, a triple star system. So, you know, 28,000 years of triple stars coming at us is not a good thing. So if this flings out material in the same way our solar system does, scientists estimate around a million objects a million objects from Alpha Centauri larger than 100 meters, that's 300 feet in diameter, could already be in the outer reaches of our solar system. That number could increase tenfold as Alpha Centauri gets closer. Most of this material would have been injected at relatively low speeds, less than 2 kilometers per second, making it more likely to drift into our cosmic neighborhood over time and not dramatically zoom in and zoom out of the solar system like 3i Atlas appears to be doing. While the chance of one of these objects becoming close to the sun is extremely small, the study suggests a few tiny meteors from Alpha Centauri 
likely no bigger than grains of sand, may already hit Earth's atmosphere every year. And why is this interesting? Discovering new interstellar visitors like 3i Atlas is thrilling, not just because they are rare, but because each one offers a unique glimpse into the wider galaxy. Every confirmed interstellar object expands our catalog and helps scientists better understand the nature of these visitors and how they travel through space and where they might have come from. And thanks to the powerful new observatories such as NSF DOE, the Vera Rubin Observatory, our ability to detect these elusive objects is rapidly improving. In fact, during the first 10 hours of the, the test imaging, Rubin revealed 2,104 previously unknown asteroids. This is an astonishing preview of what's to come. With its wide field of view and constant sky coverage, Rubin Telescope is expected to revolution the observatory uh, to revolutionize our search for interstellar objects, potentially turning rare discoveries into routine discoveries. So what happens now? There's still plenty left to uncover about 3i Atlas. Right now it's officially classified as a comet by the IAU Minor Planet Center. But some scientists argue it might actually be an asteroid roughly 20 kilometers across based on the lack of typical comet-like features such as glowing coma or a tail. More observations will be needed to confirm its nature. Currently, 3 Atlas is inbound, just inside Jupiter's orbit. It's expected to reach its closest point to the Sun, slightly closer than the planet Mars, on October 29. After that, it will swing back out towards deep space, making its closest approach to Earth in December. It will pose no threat to our planet, the astronomers say. Whether it's a comet or an asteroid, 3i Atlas is a messenger from another star system. For now, these sightings are rare, though as next-generation observatories such as Rubin swings into operation, they may discover interstellar companions all around us. And this is by Lara Hood on The Conversation. Again, I'm astonished at the fact that they're saying we may have hundreds coming at us. Alpha Centauri, they may be uh, estimated about a million objects from Alpha Centauri larger than 300 feet in diameter could already be in the outer reaches of our solar system. Estimated around a million. Alpha Centauri, the triple star system, to be moving closest approach expected to be at, at us at 28,000 years. Okay? Estimates of a million objects from Alpha Centauri and uh, larger than 300 feet in diameter could already be in our outer edges of our solar system. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.